In this video, I'm going to show you what I feel like is the best mini tripod that you can buy on the market right now for small to medium sized cameras. What's up everybody, my name is Zach Brown and here on Tech Gear my main focus is technology. On this channel you'll find tech reviews, gear reviews, some tips and tricks to help you out on your own YouTube journey as well as the occasional vlog. If any of that interests you, consider subscribing and now let me tell you about this tripod. So this little guy is made by a company called Small Rig. If you're not familiar with who Small Rig is, they are a company that pretty much specializes in rigging equipment. They're all over the camera world, so to speak. I've been using Small Rig products for a very long time as far as like double ball heads, uh, camera cages, stuff like that. They make, they make excellent quality things. And this tripod is no exception of that. Typically with a small rig product, you're going to get something that's made out of metal and something that's really durable. Also, at a cheaper price than what you would pay for a larger brand name company like a Manfrotto product. This thing is constructed out of all metal and the only thing that is not metal on it are the rubber feet. It also comes with a ball head with the Arca Swiss style quick release plate on top, which is awesome because that's what I use on all my cameras. So this little plate connects any camera to it, but allows you to take the camera on and off very quickly just by the turn of this little dial on the back, which just clamps down on the plate. Now I use this on all my tripods. I started out with using the Joby brand ball heads, which have the Arca style uh, quick release plate on them. But the, the thickness on the bottom of the plate is really thin. So even those Joby ones can fit inside of this ball head and I can clamp it down. So I don't have to take off any of the plates off of my cameras to swap them all around. That is my favorite feature of this. <laughs> It's so easy. Now looking a little closer at the ball head itself, you've got a lever on the side which unlocks it and allows you to level up your camera. You could also get a full 90 degrees right there. So it's got a little hole in the top where you can pull it over. And it also has another handle right here which unlocks the pan. So it's got a built-in pan feature. And it's actually quite smooth but I felt like when I had a camera hooked up to it, the extra weight of the lens and the camera and all made it just a little jumpy. So I wouldn't recommend it for professional use, but it's cool to have that there. If anything, you could just take it and spin your camera to look a slightly different way without having to readjust your tripod. So that is really cool. Or if you're into panoramic shooting, you can set the tripod down, unlock the, the swivel or the pan, and you can pan the camera around to get your shot. So that's a really cool way to use it. Now these legs, like I said, are all metal and they can be opened all the way up to get a lower profile shot. So with this tripod fully extended, so getting the camera as low to the ground as you can, you're gonna be about four and a half inches off the surface. Now as for the height, you're not gonna be able to get very much height if you wanna maintain that good stability. The higher you go with your tripod, the closer your legs are gonna get to each other, which means it's a higher chance of whatever you have on it falling over, whether it be a camera, a light, whatever you have on the tripod. But I have a little hack. So for about 10 bucks on Amazon, you can buy you a nice random tripod extension. And what you can do with this is screw it into the legs because it's just a 3 8 mount down there. Extend your legs all the way out now screw your ball head on the top and what this is going to allow you to do is have an adjustable tripod let me scoot back some so this is going to give you much more height while maintaining that really good strength down here with your legs fully wide so that is a really really cool option if you need that extra wreath or height or want to have the versatility of it being adjusted just add you a nice cheap tripod extension but the rubber feet on the bottom are what all the talk is about so if you've ever used a joby gorilla pod you will know exactly why metal legs and these rubber feet are going to be your best friend and on top of that this thing comes with a allen wrench to tighten every joint up if a leg gets loose you can tighten it back up that is something that is not available on the gorilla pods and that's one of the key things that i had in my head when i was looking for a new tripod to replace that kind of setup is I wanted it to be sturdy because that thing fell over way too many times. And this should never fall over. If it if it does, it's because there's a user error. But the legs are very sturdy, and if they was to ever get loose, you just tighten them up, and you're right back at brand new. So that is awesome. I also feel like this is a really good size for vlogging. Using it around the office is fine for a, just a small little setup. The size of this in general 
is a really good tripod to take with you on the go. Um, it's just a really good comfortable thing to hold even with the tripod legs in and your hand around it. It's not very wide. You, you can get a firm grip on it. The ball head can also detach from the tripod. So you can screw it all the way off and use your ball head on something else if you need to for a certain thing. Or you can use the tripod on something else if you need to. So just really, really good amount of options and build quality is amazing with this thing. Now this thing comes in at $46 right now on Amazon and I would not hesitate to buy one because it's probably the best built tripod I've ever messed with within this you know, form factor. There is one complaint I have about this tripod though and maybe it's just me not knowing what I'm doing, but the bubble level only levels it up when the camera is facing the ground. So you would want it to be a flat bubble that way it would be able to level your camera up in the landscape position, which is what I always need it for. I never have to set the camera up facing the ground and you could pretty much eyeball it given the frame of the, the picture whenever you're doing that. So I don't understand why it is only back facing straight out. So that is what I do not like about this tripod. I think it's pretty much useless the way it sits, unless I'm just doing it wrong and don't know how to use it. But <laughs> I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of it and it's only for when facing the ground. If you've made it this far in the video, let me give y'all a little tip. Do not spend your money on the crap stuff on Amazon. Spend an extra $15 to $20 and get you something that's going to last. This thing's built out of metal. It's not going to break and it's going to be here for, with me for a long time and I'd much rather spend an extra $10 to $15 or however much extra it is to have something that's going to stay with me versus something that just breaks after like three times of use. All right guys, so that wraps up my review of the Small Rig Mini Tripod. If you found the video helpful, uh, consider subscribing, like, and leave me a comment, and I will catch you on the next video. See ya.